Hello, my name is Nicholas Trailer, Executive Director of the Richmond Rent Program. This workshop is on how to file a, rent, uh, a notice of rent increase with the Richmond Rent Program. So landlords of controlled rental units in Richmond must file a copy of any notice of rent increase with the rent program, along with a proof of service within 10 business days after having served a tenant with a notice of rent increase. If a landlord does not file a copy of the rent increase notice along with a proof of service to the rent program within 10 business days, the rent increase shall be deemed null and void. Notices of rent increase may be submitted to the rent program via hard copy or through the rent program's online submission page. Before we get uh, into the details uh, as to how to file a notice of rent increase, it's a good idea to take a, a, a quick look at how the rent ordinance works. The rent ordinance has two main components, rent control and eviction protections. Rent control means that rents are limited to an inflationary annual rent increase that compounds each year resulting in a rent ceiling or maximum allowable rent. The maximum allowable rent can be adjusted upward or downward through the petition process. And um, it's also important to know that um, rent control and eviction protections uh, work to promote housing stability and therefore community stability by preventing unwarranted and arbitrary evictions and excessive rent increases. Now, housing stability uh, provided through rent stabilization would not be possible uh, without eviction protections. So rent stabilization and eviction protections go hand in hand. Eviction protections in Richmond result from the requirement to have just cause to evict. In other words, landlords must have at least one of the eight just causes in order to terminate a tenancy. Not all rental properties in Richmond are subject to rent control and therefore the requirement to submit copies of rent increase notices with the rent program. Only properties that are fully covered by the rent ordinance or those that have both rent control and eviction protections are subject to the requirement to notify the rent program when raising rents. Fully covered units include those uh, multi-unit properties built on or before February 1st of 1995, partially covered units are those that are exempt from rent controls per state law, but are covered by the requirement to have just cause to evict. So subsidized units, including Section 8 tenancies, single family homes or properties with one dwelling unit on a parcel, condominiums, and rental properties built with permits after February 1st of 1995 are considered partially covered, meaning only just cause eviction protections apply. Finally, tenancies where the tenant and landlord share a kitchen and or bathroom or single family homes where a permitted ADU is added and the main house is owner occupied, as well as retirement homes are all considered fully exempt, meaning no aspect of the Richmond rent ordinance applies. So there's no rent control and no just cause eviction protections. In order to take the annual general adjustment, certain requirements must be met. Those requirements include the administrative requirement of enrolling the property, registering tenancies, paying the rental housing fees, and uh, making sure that uh, rents have been properly rolled back and tenants are refunded any rent overcharges that may be due. The other requirement for taking an annual general adjustment is the noticing requirement. Regulation 603 requires landlords to file a copy of the rent increase notice with a proof of service within 10 days after having served the tenant. Now the annual general adjustment can be taken uh, each year with proper notice starting September 1st. And in order to qualify for the annual, the first AGA increase, the tenancy had to have started prior to September 1st of the previous year. And 
Just to reiterate, only properties that are subject to the rent control provisions of the rent ordinance are required to file rent increase notices with the rent program. Now, there has been a recent change in how the um, annual general adjustment is calculated. So starting in November of 2023, Richmond voters approved a measure P, which lowered the excuse me, which lowered uh, the allowable annual increase from 100% of consumer price index to 60% of the consumer price index or 3%, whichever is less. So effective December 30th of 2022, when the city council declared the, uh, the measure P, um, the annual general adjustment for 2022 of 5.2% uh, shall no longer apply and the rent charged to tenant in a rent controlled unit can only be the lawful amount the tenant was charged on August 31st of 2022 plus 3%. Failure to reduce the AGA increase from 5.2% to um, 3% may result in the landlord being liable for rent overcharges. Measure P contains no language requiring the landlord to reimburse the tenant if the landlord took the 5.2 annual general adjustment rent increase that was previously allowed by the rent ordinance prior to the passage of measure P. Currently um, electing to take uh, previously banked or deferred annual general adjustments is not allowable. So during the phase in period, uh, which extends from uh, December 30th of 2022 to August 31st of 2023, no tenant's rent on a rent controlled unit can be higher than um, the amount that was paid on August 31st of 2022 plus 3%. From this slide, you can see that the annual general adjustments between 2016 and 2022 averaged around 3%. And then in 2022, the allowable increase uh, was reduced from 5.2% to 3% uh, pursuant measure P. So there are two ways to submit notices of rent increase with the Richmond Rent Program. You can mail a hard copy of the notice along with the proof of service to the City of Richmond Rent Program Office, located at 446 Center Plaza, Suite 200, Richmond, California, 94804. Or, as most landlords do, file and complete the notice of rent increase form online uh, and submit it online at richmondrent.org. Uh, there's also uh, a direct link that you could use, which is richmondrent.org slash 3376 slash rent dash increase. So now we are going to take a look at the rent program's website and actually go through the process of, uh, well, not actually in submitting the notice, but showing you all the steps necessary to submit a rent increase notice. So here we have the Richmond Rent Program's website. Uh, there's several links to accessing the uh, rent increase submission page. You can either use the sidebar here, uh, click rent increase, or use one of the buttons down here. And you will click on file a rent increase notice button. That will take you to the rent increase page. The rent increase page has some general information about how rent increases are calculated, about measure P. Um, it also includes uh, templates for um, rent increase notices. Um, and it provides a link to the online submission portal. So clicking on that link, we are taken to the form center. Uh, the form center also has 
um, templates available or links to templates for rent increase notices. And before entering any information, a landlord should sign in or create an account. And once they've done that, they put in the property information, information on the tenant, so their, 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 their name, their property address and unit number, the current rent and the proposed new rent, and then um, uh, the actual copy of the notice can be uploaded uh, by choosing one of these, uh, by choosing this button where it says choose file. Don't forget that you should also make sure the tenant receives a rent program brochure, certified that they have, and put in your name um, and uh, click the box certifying that this is your valid signature for legal purposes. You want to receive a copy of your um, or receipt of having submitted the rent increase notice. You can put in your email address and then you hit submit. And that is the process. And with that, we will end the presentation. Please note that you can always contact us at 510-234-7368 or 234-RENT um, and set up an appointment with one of our counselors. Uh, if you need any assistance with uh, completing a notice of rent increase form and or submitting it online. And thank you very much. Have a good rest of your day. Take care.